My name is Ed Boone. I am the uh, creative director at NetherRealm Studios. <laughs> Uh, well, my title is creative director, and I'm basically uh, overseeing the uh, the development of the entire game. You know, the game has a number of different um, disciplines. There is, you know, uh, graphics, obviously, characters, backgrounds. Uh, there's animation. There's uh, uh, the, the design of the game, the special moves, the hidden features, the UI. So all of that is the specialist to work on all of those things. And I kind of oversee the, uh, all of that to, to um, make sure that the game is consistent and stays clear to the vision that we had for it. So I'm like the overseer. You do not deserve to rejoice. Um, well, the fact that we've been doing Mortal Kombat games for 20 years, we, 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 we've gotten to know what players like um, about Mortal Kombat and what, what features. So we would never, you know, take out Scorpion or, or take out Raiden or something like that, you know. And, and um, so we know that players are looking for, you know, fun gameplay elements, but also big wow moments, the x-ray moments, the fatalities. They want to see the, the really kind of crazy stuff. And they want a deep story. I think Mortal Kombat is the fighting game that's known for having a really deep story. And each time we kind of present it in a bigger, more epic way. Yeah, well, you know, originally um, um, Mortal Kombat, the only other fighting game that was really big outside was Street Fighter at the time. And Street Fighter is a little bit more... Um, uh, 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 like animated, it's it's a little bit more uh, you know cartoonish, you know, a fantasy as opposed to like real stuff. And so we wanted to do something that used real videotapes of real life actors, a realism. We wanted to look really kind of uh, edgy, and and that's why we added the blood and all the um, kind of really intense stuff. And so Mortal Kombat that became what was synonymous with people associated with Mortal Kombat was that kind of edgy look, and that's. The approach that we took with everything, as far as the game's concerned, everything's over the top. Everything's kind of a little bit more uh, louder than uh, than than other uh, games that are that are you know like in the fighting category. And uh, so I really think that Mortal Kombat is just I don't know if that's an American thing as opposed to it's just what Mortal Kombat is. Sure. The biggest thing about Mortal Kombat 10, there's a bunch of new things, new characters, new uh, backgrounds, new game features, but the biggest thing is probably the, the fact that all of the characters have three variations. Um, there's three versions of Kano, three Sub-Zero, three Scorpion, and they all play different. So, you know, when you're matching up against characters, Kano A might be a different matchup with Raiden A than Kano B would be with Raiden C, you know, and so it really makes it more a deeper fighting engine, a, a, a lot more variety, a lot more unpredictability, and we really think that's going to be kind of like the next step in fighting games. We try to do both. We really try to make, um, um, we have features in there that we know are the more technical things, um, but you know, Mortal Kombat's always been a game that a bunch of friends can get together, sit on a couch and just play. You know, you don't have to like study it or, or you know, spend a lot of time learning it. You really can just pick up the controller and have fun right away. But at the same time, we've been at, you know, the EVO tournaments and, you know, the game has a strong tournament following as well. So we try to just accommodate both uh, audiences. Yeah, I think the main thing we're proud of with this game is how much new content is in the game. We didn't take, you know, the last game that we did was very successful, and we didn't want to just take that and put pretty graphics on it, and that's it. You know, good-looking graphics is kind of like the, the entry point. It's like where you start. And then we added, you know, all these new features, you know, the new characters, the new backgrounds, the new game features. To me, that's what I'm most proud of is the fact that we're doing something as different as the last game too and that's I think one of the reasons why Mortal Kombat's still around after 20 years.
every single game that we do, there's at, at some point while we're making it, we realize, you know, if you have any more big ideas, there's no time to do it. So we just, you know, we write it down and then save it for later and then, and then bring it up maybe in a future game. And um, Mortal Kombat X is, is, there's no, it's no different. There have been a lot of ideas that we got in there from Mortal Kombat 9 that we didn't have a chance to do. But at the same time, I'm sure at the end of this project, there'll be stuff that we think of that we won't have time for as well. We have, um, we have a lot of ideas of what kind of DLC we'd like to put into the game. You know, Mortal Kombat 9 had DLC and it was very successful, so we're probably going to continue doing that and introduce new characters, maybe a guest character, but we're like, you know, we're, we're really, um, that's what's fun about DLC is you can wait and then after the game is out, you can still keep uh, putting new characters in the game. Yeah, we're actually only working on the uh, PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One at NetherRealm. Um, so we're only doing the, the, the next-gen consoles, and another company is going to be doing the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and that's kind of like their, their job is to, to make it as close as possible, but we're trying to just hit as high a bar as we can. I don't know if I could do it in a, in a, in a minute. Um, I think if, the way I would describe Mortal Kombat X is it's, um, it's the, uh, it has the most new content that we've ever put in a Mortal Kombat game. New characters, new backgrounds. Uh, X stands for a lot of things. It stands for you know next generation consoles, next generation uh, characters, um, you know, the, the daughters and sons of the Mortal Kombat characters. And it's also kind of like a Generation X. So Mortal Kombat is really um, all about the newness, all about the new features in the game. And it's about um, everything that you love in Mortal Kombat, but with as a, you know, wrapped in a pretty bow as possible.